You know how many patrons I've had sitting here. Oh, Mr. Brokel, I lent all my girl to the ground and now you owe me this and that interest and how will we go on? The whole city is ruined. Oh, Mr. Brokel, I know I promised I'm going to buy your next painting, but now I cannot even buy a new hat. So many merchants in their silk shirts, sneezing away their pet bird. But look out at the port. There are still ships coming into the harbor. And you know their halls are full of that new world silver. <laughs> and we know the stock market don't close for no bankrupt king. Yeah, what do I know? I'm just a simple painter from a small town. What do I know of the finances of the richest city in all of Europe? I just paint a picture what I see. This is the Tower of Babel, yes? This is also my painting. This is Antwerpen, a city of so many languages, yeah? Here we have Venetians and Ragusians and Prussians and Persians and Bohemians and, you know, the lords of so many lands, they are flooding our city, begging for loans for another ship, another project, another expedition. But then, Spain saunters in with her soldiers and her henchmen and says, give us the money for our inquisition so we keep all that silver and gold flowing into your markets. Yeah, it's not that complicated. All these foreigners clutching their big fur hats, selling us these fancy spices and this pepper, what takes the taste of salt from our salted meats? These spice merchants, they make so much money. And then they turn around and they lend their fortunes to all the crowns of Europe. Not just to Spain, but to England, to France, to Portugal. They don't care who they lend to. They care only for what their money gonna buy for their own sake. You know this? That men outside their country have allegiance to themselves alone? Look. I like my pepper just as much as anyone. But I see how our taste for spice smells like gunpowder. And what about this Philip II, our young Spanish emperor who has inherited so many territories all over Europe, not to mention those faraway colonies in the Americas? Such a large, ambitious, unwieldy empire with such inconceivably large debts. Do we really believe our emperor can fly so high? <laughs> of course, as a Catholic and a loyal Spanish subject, I humbly submit to the beneficent authority of His Royal Highness, the Holy Roman Emperor chosen by God. You know, Erasmus also says that we all have our part to play in the great theater of the cosmos. And certainly I know my role. Hey, peasant Brochel, make us another funny picture. Entertain us, Mr. Brochel, make us another silly painting. So for you, merchants of Antwerpen, you who are crying over this moment of terrible economic crisis, I say to you, this moment, she's just a tiny detail in the vast sea of all our human folly. But you know, I'm thinking about those ships. Those ships that don't stop in the wake of bankruptcy and misfortune. And I wonder, what do those ships mean for us? For our beloved Antwerpen, the center of so much culture and learning. And for our shining golden age, now that our Icarus has fallen, to you before. For me this moment, it's about the light. And I feel a great nostalgia for that light, setting out there now at the horizon. That line, what guts between the sky and the sea. And when I look out at that line, I know that when you follow it far enough, 
Thank you.